welcome all of you today's topic is ocean currents first question is what are ocean currents i'll explain with the help of this diagram here you can see this red arrow showing north equatorial warm current moves upward as kuroshiro current then finally it moves again southward as cold california current and merges with the north equatorial current this mass of water it moves in a finely defined direction throughout the year this is the ocean current now i will explain that ocean currents are divided on the basis of temperature as warm and cold currents in this diagram you can see warm currents are shown with the help of red arrow warm currents flow from the warm or tropical latitude towards the cooler or temperate latitudes they bring warm water from the lower latitudes to the higher latitudes just opposite you will see that cold currents are shown with the help of blue arrow these flow from higher latitudes to lower latitudes and thus bring cold water from higher latitudes to lower latitudes the third topic is factors influencing ocean currents there are many factors five factors that influence ocean currents first i will take rotation of the earth the coriolis effect is caused by the rotation of the earth this force causes the winds and the ocean currents to deflect to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere it is clearly shown in this diagram the straight line is showing the original path whereas the deflection is shown with the help of the another arrow second factor is configuration of the coast lines the shape of the coasts of continents also plays an important role in the flow of ocean currents we can see in this diagram the brazilian coast this coast bifurcates the movement of south equatorial current one branch which diverts south as brazilian current whereas the other diverting north to join the north equatorial current the third factor is permanent or planetary winds the friction of winds on the surface of water causes the water to move in whichever direction the wind is blowing the surface water of the ocean also flow in that direction it is clear in this diagram you can see that the equatorial north equatorial and the south equatorial currents are influenced by the northeast trend winds as well as by southeast trend winds in the same way you can see that the gulf stream move in northeastern direction under the influence of westerly winds the fourth factor is variations in sea water temperature all of us know the temperature on equator is the maximum which goes on decreasing as one moves from equator towards the poles there is a negative correlation between the temperature and the density of water it means that higher the temperature that is on equator the density of water will be lower and just opposite on the poles the lower the temperature and the density of water will be higher as the result of this the hotter and the lighter water from the equator move towards the poles whereas the colder and the denser water from the poles area comes towards the equator the fifth factor is variations in sea water salinity salinity means the amount of salt contained in the water it's clear that water with a higher level of salinity is denser than water with a lower level of salinity because of this what happen the higher salinity water tends to subside and move below the water of low salinity i'm sure today's topic is absolutely clear to all of you don't miss out my next video ocean currents part 2 in which i'll explain the currents of the atlantic ocean thank you for watching